Turn your head slowly to the right. Please do not move the smart phone. Oh gosh, this is a bit tricky. Please tilt the camera down a little. <laughs> So I wanted to treat myself a bit by getting a really fancy headphones and I've done some research on Google and also on YouTube and everyone is full of praise with this product called the Sony's WH-1000MXM4. So I'm sure you know all about the techie side so no need to explain on that but uh, I also randomly came across with Lou Later's channel saying that the price for this unit has suddenly dropped for some reason and yes indeed like for example John Lewis or Curry's they're still s selling it for 350 British pounds but I managed to find a website called Techo Buy which they were selling for 215 British pounds and it took about a week uh, or more to be delivered but hey it's, it was a really brilliant price anyway so I know it's six months later, I'm, I'm late on the race, but I do want to re-enter to the race of the headphone uh, side. So let's get into the unboxing. So here it goes. Easy to take off the wrap, which is really good. So here it comes, easy setup, configuration. And the case is a really nice sort of gray matte finish i love that access code on this cob oh actually that's a very good touch uh the zip is actually tucked in you have to pull it and then so you've got a really nice package premium feel as we all know light but also flexible feeling indeed and we got earphone jack plane travel you want to use that this is the charging cable of a simple instruction saying what sort of things actually it's for and the what how it functions so we got the earphone jack here and the usb-c uh, port here and also the power button and the custom button and i believe those two tiny holes are for the microphone for making phone calls and that's the sensor for automatically detecting it putting on your ear um, it's actually quite hard here for some reason both sides there's something pointing out here uh, we've got the left and right and uh, you could actually readjust the um, size of your head. And um, it's a bit loosened, but I'm sure they made it in a good quality anyway. So that's pretty much it actually. I like the nice Sony gold logo there. And um, another sort of, can anyone tell me what this is for? <laughs> I'm not sure what it's for, but I'm sure I'll find out. Okay, so the QR code. Oh, gotta love Samsung, right? It automatically detects the web page. So where do I get the app? Oh, it's gone on the Google Play Store. Voila, so all installed, open. Right, welcome. So all the terms and conditions. Turn on the power of the headphone. So let's turn on the power. Now I can hear the power on. It's connecting, okay, connected. Restore settings, proceed with restoring. Next, adaptive sound control. Yes, I would like to use that. I uh, use learning function. What is this? Adaptive sound control. Yeah. Okay. 360 reality as well. Yeah, notice there's a code there that I could use later on. Analyze your ear shape. Take the photos of your ear. <laughs> That's cool. Turn your head slowly to the right. Please do not move the smart Evo. Okay, so I have to take off my glasses to be able to to take that so next okay so i managed to take both of my side of ears right so i don't know what the hell is doing but i'll trust the technology okay so one app optimize and okay so set up complete so this is the brilliance of this device i can connect it to two devices at the same time so i'm going to connect my laptop into it now this is my favorite part so speak to chat so let's say if you're speaking the music will stop um, and then we start for a few seconds later. And my favorite is this equalizer. So you can actually spend all day uh, actually changing all these settings here. So travel boost, vocal, relaxed, mellow, excited, bright, off, custom two and custom one. And obviously that custom button is available here. So you press that and it will be turned on. 
um, analyze ear shape that's been done, optimize app that's been done, and the system itself. Well, that you can actually set that up, but um, I also connect it to my Google Assistant as well. So, the moment of truth, let's try out the um, Vexento's track called We Are One. So, here it goes. Building up. Oh, oops. Okay, so it's stopped because I talked. Okay. Wow. Um, okay, so I got to stop you there. It's about. Um, it's about a third forty seconds to 46 seconds there's a bit that it builds up you can really sense this like 3d kind of effect on this track and i, I love it it's really good you can actually sense that let's try that again So um, occasionally you actually get that beep sound and I think this is the, uh, is it the DSSE sound effect that somehow seem to adjust the sound and um, it's really good actually because I, I actually have various tracks from hip hop to rock to ballads and like you know all those cheesy songs um, and it automatically seemed to adjust it as well. This is brilliant. Um, wow. It's so clever, this whole thing, and you just get blown away with it. But um, one thing that I have to admit is that, you know, it's very difficult once you actually take off your glasses and you're trying to put in. The sponge is actually preventing it to get in. But um, I guess some people might find it a bit annoying that you can't sing along with it. Then you can always change on your settings anyway, but it, it kind of shows how technology, how far it moved along. It's brilliant. Amazing. Okay, so let's do a bit of a sound comparison, shall we? So on the Sony sound settings, I actually change it to Excited. And on the Bang & Lawson E8, I actually put it on to Energetic. And I'm going to play the track called Take Off by Liquid. So here it goes. So unfortunately, I can't actually put both of the device at the same time. For sound because I thought Samsung had that settings but for some reason my Galaxy S20 Ultra doesn't have that settings but anyway okay so I'm actually listening to turn okay interesting so basically um, the sound on the Bang & Olufsen E8 is, is very good. I have never actually come across with any earbuds that is, sounds better than the uh, Bang & Olufsen E8, but the sound seems to be concentrated on one hole and it comes out very clearly. But in fact, the, uh, the Sony uh, XM4, actually you can hear various of sound actually coming out in a really bright sound. So easily uh, Sony XM4 beats Bang & Olufsen E8, but then again, it's not a good fair comparison because this is an earbud while this is a headphone uh, but it's brilliant so the um, sound quality is really good you can actually hear various sounds in one harmony and it's brilliant compared to Bang & Olufsen E8 and I noticed um, the noise cancellation it's, it's truly amazing because I noticed my wife was having a telephone conversation or making noise and I just couldn't hear anything at all and uh, it almost creates an iron curtain for you um, if you're living in a small area sharing with someone else um, you're out actually you, you it almost creates a boundary 
uh, invisible boundary that this person cannot intervene, which is amazing for a time like this in a pandemic. I can see why so many people are buying this product and a very good price. Now, um, there are two things I do want to point out that it's nothing to do with this design itself, but it's just generally my shape of my head um, for long term use. For some reason, I don't know what it is, but it kind of hurts on my top of my head. So I have to stretch, stretch it into maximum. Otherwise, if I don't, um, top of my head start to hurt. Uh, the other thing is that um, while I listen to music, sometimes if I take it out, maybe because it's actually covered in, to, in darkness, the music will uh, still continuing on. So I think the sensor is not really that perfect yet, but there are so many different settings that you can change that uh, there's little chance that you can complain about this. This is almost perfect the way how it is. And I, I can see why so many people have reviewed this as an excellent uh, headset device and um, Sony has done a really good job um, and um, other than the fact that it doesn't suit me fashionably because I got a wide face uh, this is a perfect headset that anyone should get so I hope that gave you a, almost like a first-hand experience of what this device is all about but if you have any queries that you want to find out from me I'm more than happy to come back to you on a comment section so please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is LJP Tech all the best bye bye